Hi, this is Deb from Deb's Day's Designs, and I'm back today with another summer project. Today, it's this cute watermelon bunting we'll be making. This simple fabric garland's an easy way to decorate your space and garden for the summertime. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com, where you'll find plenty of sewing and crafting projects. It's also where you'll find a link to the written version of this pattern with step-by-step -step instructions, cutting measurements, photos, and the printable watermelon template. And since it's a digital download pattern, you can get started on your very own watermelon bunting today. I've added a link in the description below this video where you can find it. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need fabric for the watermelons, fabric for the hanging ribbon, batting, pinking shears or a pinking blade, and of course the printable template. First, place a piece of watermelon fabric with the right side of the fabric facing down. On top, place a layer of batting and align it with the shorter end of the fabric. Fold the other half of the fabric over on top of the batting with the right side of the fabric facing up. Place the watermelon template on top of the fabric with the base of the triangle facing the long edge of the fabric at least an inch away from the fabric's edge and pin it in place. Rough cut around the template at least an inch from the paper's edge. Stitch the watermelon by sewing around the outside of the template very close to the edge of the paper. Make sure your needle is in the down position when you're pivoting at the corners. Flip the template upside down and place the base so it's facing the other long edge of the fabric, at least an inch from the fabric's edge, and pin it in place. Rough cut around the template, and then stitch around the template very close to the edge of the paper. And flip it one more time to rough cut and stitch the third watermelon. Follow the same steps to cut out and stitch watermelons from the other fabric and batting pieces. Then use pinking shears or a pinking blade to trim at least a quarter inch outside the stitching lines. To make the hanging ribbon, cut the fabric into four inch strips and sew them together to make one long strip. Fold both short ends of the strip under half an inch and press it. Fold the strip in half lengthwise with the wrong sides of the fabric facing each other and press to make a crease. Open it back up. Fold one side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the other side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the entire piece over and press it. Place the raw edge of the top of one of the watermelons inside the crease of the long fabric strip. Use fabric clips to hold it in place. And arrange the rest of the watermelons inside the fabric strip, spacing them and arranging them as desired. Then top stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edges all the way across and around the strip. And just like that, just that fast, we have this cute watermelon fabric garland to decorate for summer or picnic or barbecues, parties. If you'd like to see more easy projects like this one with digital patterns that you can print at home, check out the blog at debsdays.com. I've added a link in the description below this video. See you next time with another project. Bye.